recognize anyone, me? Who do you see? You see your sister. Why is your sister sitting on the front row? Because she's being confirmed today. Huh. Do you all know what confirmation is? A little bit? Well, confirmation goes way, 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 way back in the history of the church. Because a long, long time ago, they thought that only bishops, very important people, could baptize. And sometimes they knew a baptism was so important that they would baptize a person and then wait for a little while until the bishop could come and confirm that that baptism had really happened. Right? It was a good system. Because people had to travel long distances. It was very convenient. But over time, it changed a little. Now, some of you were baptized when you were babies, and some of you aren't baptized yet. And what's happened is when we baptize someone, we know that as a baby, they can't really make all the promises at baptism that their families do for them, right? They promise to help them understand the story of God and to be a follower of Jesus. And the whole church promises to help them understand that too, right? Now, over the years, you guys learn more about God, right? What do you have in front of you, Jude? You have your Bible. You learn more about the Bible that, you, that, we, learn, that we read from. You learn more about what it means to be part of the church. And then for one very important year, all of these students have had to do a lot of work and a lot of thinking about what it means to become a member of the church. Last week, we saw the projects that they did that helped show us how they understand God. They had to listen to sermons and write reports about them. They met with mentors. They prayed. You guys got to be a community at some point, I think. They took care of each other. And now, after the sermon, they're going to answer some very important questions. They're going to promise to follow Jesus try to turn away from sin. They're going to promise to be members of the church, which means in two weeks they can vote in the congregational meeting. That's exciting. They're going to help be leaders as the church becomes something new. And that is why this day is so exciting. Because we see all of these faces, and we see new people who are going to be Sunday school teachers, who are going to be choir members, who are going to maybe be pastors, who are going to help make sure vacation Bible camp happens and maybe serve in a mission field far, far away. And it's an exciting moment where we see that God helps us grow to say important things and to do important things. And that's why today is so special. And I look out at you all and I think, hmm, let's see, you're in kindergarten, so that means eight years from now. And you're in third grade, so that's five years from Who's a fifth grader? Not too long. You all will be making those same promises. So let's say a prayer for our confirmation students and the promises they make today. Let's pray. Dear God, be with all of us this day in the words that we speak and the promises that we make. Send your spirit to move among us so that we might know the great hope of your spirit. Be with us this day, O oh Lord. Be with the confirmation class this day, O oh Lord. Be with all of us this day, O oh Lord. And keep us safe. And all together we pray. Amen. Friends, today we confirm the youth who started confirmation last September. Over the past year, these youth have continued on their faith journeys, strengthened by the help of their mentors and families. They have spent Sundays together and the occasional Saturday serving with Upward Basketball, listening, reading, discussing, playing, and creating a final project all while learning how they fit into the history and ministry 
not only of this congregation, but of the church universal throughout the world. These confirmands are now presented by the session for the reaffirmation of the baptismal covenant. And confirmands Marcus Beato, Miles Harden, Elizabeth Isabella Maloney, and Emily Pinsk for the sacrament of baptism. They now desire to publicly profess their faith and to assume greater responsibility in the life of the church and God's mission in the world. Confirmands, in baptism you are joined to Christ and made members of his church. In the community of the people of God, you have learned of God's purposes for you and for all creation. You have been nurtured at the table of our Lord and called to witness in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hear these words of scripture from the gospel of Matthew. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light so shine before others, they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Now, as you publicly profess your faith, I ask you to reject sin, to profess your faith in Jesus Christ and to confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we are baptized. Trusting in the gracious mercy of God, do you turn from the ways of sin and renounce evil and its power in the world, do you? Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Lord and Savior, trusting in his grace and love, do you? Will you be Christ's faithful disciple, obeying his word and showing his love? Will you, with God's help? We now invite forward those who have taught, mentored, encouraged, and cared for these compromands along the journey. Please come forward for the laying on of hands and blessing. Let us pray. Gracious God, by water and the Spirit, you claimed us as your own, cleansing us from sin and giving us new life. You made us members of your body, the church, calling us to be your servants in the world. Renew these compromands. Renew in them the covenant you made at their baptism. Continue the good work you have begun in them. Send them forth in the power of your Holy Spirit to love and serve you with joy and to strive for justice and peace, peace in all the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. These confirmands, by publicly professing their faith, have expressed their intention to continue in the covenant God made with them in their baptism. Let us joyfully welcome them as they join with us in the worship and mission of the church. Let us all gathered here welcome the newest members of the church by sharing God's peace with them.